I'm in Indian Caves. It's the 2nd of February. I don't know, I guess we'll find out if the Smokies have got... Smokies in March have got anything on Indian Caves in February. Uh, we'll see if it's better than it used to be, or than it was last year. I haven't been back since last year. Uh, the trails were poorly marked. Uh, should be fun. Uh, poorly marked trails in the snow. However, I don't know if you can see, but... Definitely looks like people have been out here, so that's a good sign. Uh, actually, those look like deer hooves, but that's an awful lot of deer hooves. I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll find out. Let's, uh, let's do some hiking. Well, I found the trail. I don't think I was on the trail, but I found the trail. And looks like, even though it's a good temperature, this is what my views are going to be. So, that kind of sucks, but should still be fun either way. I'm not even a mile in, and those goofy little Costco ice spikes, I uh, can't really show, I'll show you later, uh, they, uh, they're crap. I can't remember what I spent on them, but hopefully it wasn't much. Uh, lost one already, just coming up the first hill. Uh, basically, it's just like an elastic thing that goes around the outside of your shoe. Uh, and then it snaps down tight like a rubber band, only apparently it's not very tight. Uh, one's gone, left one's gone. Uh, I lost the right one, but realized it and was able to backtrack about 25 yards and found it in the on the trail. But what good's one without the other? What good's any of them if they just pop off every 100 yards? But So that's a little bit of a disappointment. Uh, however, I don't really notice any difference between walking with just my Solomons on versus having those goofy little things on. So, so that's a good thing. Snow's not bad. Inch or two deep. Uh, every once in a while you'll hit a deeper spot and sink a little bit but that's okay still gorgeous out wish there was some sun but I'll take it Big raccoon or a small bobcat, I'm not sure. But, uh, just me and that little furry creature. I've been here since the snow fell. Uh, so it's pretty slow going right now. I haven't seen a whole lot of wildlife. Cardinal, a couple of woodpeckers. But, uh, nice, man. Some pretty good climbs. The trail hasn't been too bad, actually. Uh, pretty well marked, better than last time. Maybe it's just hardwood trail is the issue. I don't know. Uh, definitely worth 
giving her another run. Uh, passed a lot of shelters, so that's good. I think I can make an overnighter work for the kids without having to make them walk too far here. Having fun though, having fun. And uh, temperature's not bad. It's, uh, I'm actually sweating a couple of good climbs. So. In a little bit, managed to sort of find my view. Cannot complain at all. One thing that make it better is it's crystal clear, but this is pretty darn good. I'm happy. This used to be one of my favorite, very favorite parks. It's, uh, Indian Cave State Park. Uh, it's a little misleading because people think they're going to find a cave and it's considered a cave, but it's not really. Uh, maybe we'll get some, some video when we get back down there. But uh, uh, it's, it's pretty cool historically. Uh, they ended up having to put up boardwalks sometime between when I was a kid and, and when I was an adult because people were getting into caves and messing with all the hieroglyphs kids were writing their own hieroglyphs. But you can still walk the boardwalks right up to the cave into the chimney. And it's pretty darn cool. Uh, yeah, so when we get back down there, we'll take a look. But for now, let's continue to enjoy this view. Give it the new hammock a throw. Madeira Outdoor Products. It's pretty darn nice. My butt's cold, but I don't have an underquilt right now. I'm just testing her out. It's comfy. I could probably chill in this for a while. I better not lay back too much. I could fall asleep and get stuck out here. <laughs> uh, man, I'm having a good day. Oh man, this is fun. Well. Back at where I, my first little uh, lookout spot, you can see the difference in the view from the like no visibility I had this morning to what it sort of should look like. Nothing but field over that way, but you know, hey, whatever. Welcome to Nebraska. <laughs> Actually, that side of the river would be. No, that's Nebraska. Yep, yeah, that's Nebraska. Over that way is Iowa. Man, it's been fun. Got to try out the new hammock. Gonna go down to the caves here in a few minutes. We'll get some uh, some uh, video down there. Having a good day, man. <laughs> Having a great day. Uh, oh, and I did find my uh, find my other goofy little uh, ice spike thingy. Just uh, having a great day. Sorry, I called them hieroglyphs. They're petroglyphs. Um. Sure, that's just terminology, but shows my stupidity, I guess. So, like I said, this is the boardwalk that they built. When I was a kid, it was just uh, you just walked up there, and sometime between 
being little and gosh when I uh, got married 20 years ago uh, they put this in like I said because people were just destroying the, the relics and what have you um, fun fact when my wife and I got married almost 20 years ago we were even more poor than we are now um, so we actually spent our honeymoon here at Indian Caves we camped out for about five days uh, let's see if I can find a picture of us down here um, we uh, came back for our 15th wedding anniversary we didn't camp here that time we, we rented a hundred year old house in uh, Brownville which is a town a little bit north of here pretty cool old house a little spooky but really cool um, but we came down here and hiked for a day uh, just as kind of a uh, throwback I guess and I know I've got some pictures of that so I'll definitely see if I can't throw one in when I'm editing this but I, I have to see if I can find some from our our honeymoon but yeah it's a pretty cool place So this is what's considered the cave. Like I said, it's not really a cave in the traditional sense, I guess. Uh, up here is a little bit more so. Uh, there's actually what they call the chimney up here. Uh, presumably that this was all glacier formed. River moving through. I guess not glacier form, but this was all formed by the river. Glacial deposit. So yeah. <laughs> I'm not as dumb as I look. Only got, only got in six miles, uh, but you know what? They were good miles. Uh, I could have done more uh, if I could have, uh, if I would have been more confident in the trails, how the, the trails were actually uh, laid out. But uh, I was paranoid about getting lost last time I was here. Didn't want to get lost in the snow, not that it would have been too terribly difficult to find my way back to a road, but uh, plus I didn't have kids, so it wouldn't have been that big a deal. But, um, and so I only did six miles. It was tough miles, they were in the snow, uh, and I did possibly the hardest section here, uh, Rock Bluff Run. Um, but I had a good time, I had a good time. Um, I was gonna try and do another little bit of mile and a half loop um, north ridge loop i've never done before but the road back to it was pretty icy and i, I don't know the road so i didn't want to risk it i've got all-wheel drive but it wasn't worth it um, i've got an hour and a half drive back home anyway so i figured i'll just it's about 3:45. i'm just gonna head home and and uh, call it a day but man i i mean i i, I had a good time i'm glad i was able to get out I'm glad I had as much luck with the trail as I did uh, because it gives me more confidence to come back again um, and, and try some different trails compared to the one that I, I brought everybody on last year where we just got lost and the trail was overgrown and the maps didn't follow and everything else. So um, I've seen a handful of people out, so that's been pretty cool. 
Um, like I said, I did find my other uh, um, little ice bike thing. That's pretty funny. There, there's a lot of history at this park. Um, the town of St. Deroyne um, is a living history town during the summer. Um, I'll probably bring the kids down here and, and I'll get some, some footage for that uh, that trip as well. Uh, so I can share that with you guys. But I'm, I'm just glad I was able to get out. Um, it's like 47 degrees right now. Um, man, I, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I wish you were here.